G'day and welcome to uh, Transport Fever 2. And in today's video, we are going to show you very quickly and very easily how to enable mods from the Steam Workshop for your games of Transport Fever 2. So, quite simply, once you actually come in and create a new game, so we're going to go, for instance, and save, go to free game. Options in through here. It'll create the map. We go next. Then we go up here to our settings. So this is where we actually go in and choose extra things. But we've got the mods as well. So this is the enabled mods I have for the game currently, or the mods I've downloaded. And what we can also do is we can then enable the mods. So if I want the British Rail Class 37, 47, and the 76 EM1, then I just go over here, click the toggle switch, and they will now be enabled. That'll be enabled for any game I start up, and that's all well and good. Now, the difference with that is once you actually save this and then come back out, and then you press start, that's where you'll start off and get all that sort of stuff ready for you. Now, one of the things is, though, when you do continue a current game, it, you won't get the option to change the mods. If you wish to change the mods or add new mods to your current save game that you've been playing, you need to go in and use the load game option, load the game, and similarly go into a very similar option. So we go load game. I'm just going to load up one of the auto saves here. Um, and then what you do is down here in the enabled mod. So there's a little plus sign over here to the right hand side. You'll click on that and then all the mods become available here. Currently they're all disabled. So again, if I want to add the British Rail class trains to this map or this save game, I enable them there and then go and press start. Okay. So quite simply, that's how we do it. Very easy. I hope you find it just as easy and I hope it helps you get them mods working. Now, there are already mods coming out for Transport Fever 2 and the game hasn't even been released yet. So I'm really looking forward to what our modders can actually bring to us in Transport Fever 2. So keep an eye on the Steam Workshop and that's how you quite easily add all your mods to your Transport Fever 2 game. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, that's okay. Many thanks to Urban Games again for giving us early access to the game to showcase it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that alarm notification icon. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again back here in Transport Fever 2. See you all later. Bye.